Now at 4 o'clock, a gunman killed during a SWAT standoff with police. Officers say that after shooting his neighbor, the man turned the gun on them and they were forced to fire. And local 10's Christina Vasquez live now at the apartment complex where this all played out this morning. She explains how this all started. Christina. And hours into the investigation, take a look. You can see investigators are still here on site at the Point South condominiums. They still have the crime scene tape wrapped around the perimeter. I did just now get to meet someone who knew the shooter in this case. She says she knew him when he was a child and described him as a sweet and great kid. And that the events you are about to hear, as told to us by police, seem completely out of character. Crime scene technicians late this afternoon still working to collect evidence from South Point Apartments in Southwest Miami-Dade. The bright yellow tarp you see here marking the scene of a police-involved shooting. It all started last night when police say a gunman, 25-year-old Donovan Adrian Watson, shot and killed a 38-year-old. At random, the victim had just arrived to the ruddy pink apartment complex. Completely random victim. A person that was just getting out of the car, just walking into their, coming home from work, walking towards their apartment when he was confronted by this individual and shot multiple times. He died from his injuries after being transported to a local hospital. Meantime, as police were responding to a 911 call in reference to a person shot, the shooter barricaded himself inside an apartment. From Sky 10, you can see the department's tactical teams on site. Four hours, police say negotiators were trying to talk to him, but they say the gunman made a choice to first open fire at a special response robot, disabling it. He then shot out at our special response team members that were that were positioned outside of the apartment in the parking lot. Police say the shooter then emerges from the apartment, shooting at officers who returned fire, killing him. No officers were hurt. And the victim's name in this case is being withheld by police because it appears that the family has elected for something that's called Marcy's Law. It's a constitutional amendment essentially ensuring that their victims or the loved one's name in this case would not be shared with the public via police and the updates we have received from them. Meantime, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FDLE, they are investigating, which is standard whenever there's an officer-involved shooting. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, Christina.